a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, Representative Jody Arrington. Uh, Congressman, when you see video of them uh, opening up the gates, literally, what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are how ironic that uh, President Biden is building a, a $500,000 border wall around his beach home, and I'm sure they won't forget to lock the gates at night. Meanwhile, uh, he's willfully disregarding the law and intentionally not securing the gates of our country and the communities along the border and states like Texas. So it just shows the willful, intentional actions by this president to create the chaos and the lawlessness that we're suffering through, not just in Texas, but throughout the country, and not just with the migrants flooding over into our country, but mainly the drugs that are killing tens of thousands of Americans because this president has ceded control of our border to these paramilitary narco-terrorist cartels. Yeah, uh, and by the way, according to a new NPR Ipsos poll, more than half of Americans say that there is an invasion at the southern border. The poll also found that Republicans are not alone in embracing negative rhetoric around immigration. Um, so you've got Democrats also seeing this going on. And I, and I guess what I wonder is, uh, I, I don't know where you are right now today, but when you are in Washington, I, I hope you have some friends on the other side of the aisle. We shouldn't just, you know, uh, stay separate. But when you talk to them, do they acknowledge what's going on in the border is a problem? Well, the, the, the last Democrat that, that made some criticism of the current administration's border policies got an FBI raid on his home. His name's Henry Cuellar. Uh, so I don't know that you're going to hear much from our Democrat colleagues in, in private, I think they have, they understand that this is unsustainable. Um, maybe we will see more as their electorate puts pressure on them. But I think it is super telling uh, that almost 50 percent, almost one of every two Democrats in the country believe what's happening at the southern border is an invasion. And the reason, Bob, that's important, because the, the, the federal government has an obligation to protect each and every state against an invasion. That, those are the plain words of the Constitution. When that doesn't happen, states are empowered, Article 1, Section 10, to defend themselves, their border, and their citizens. And that is where we are. And if that doesn't happen by our leaders in Texas and those in other border states, uh, we will not see uh, uh, any sort of relenting uh, of this or mitigation of this deluge of crime, drugs, and uh, illegal migrants coming into the country. Yeah, and as for the migrant buses that we've seen, the uh, reports are that the governor, uh, Governor Abbott, is going to continue sending them to Washington, D.C., to New York City. Uh, he keeps trying to send that message. Do you think that's effective? Uh, even if people look at this and say, yeah, that seems fair because Texas is bearing so much of the brunt of this, do you think it's effective in getting the message across? I think it is, and I, I commend the governor, I think it's been effective on the messaging side mm -hmm. uh, because it's easy to claim to be a sanctuary city until the consequences of the lawlessness right. of this administration show up in their community. So I, I think that is definitely, and they're starting to sound the alarms as if this is a, a security crisis for their own citizens now that this has come home to roost uh, in their city. Well, but I think that ultimately uh, the governor and other state leaders are going to have to take over the, the, the responsibility to apprehend, detain, and deport, or we will not see an end to this invasion that will ultimately um, destroy Texas, the quality of life, our values. I mean, this is serious, serious uh, threat to not only Texas, but to our republic. Yeah. Congressman Erickson, thank you so much.